Welcome to another review and today I am reviewing the 2020 Photon Pickup. Now Photon is a new brand, not just to Jamaica but to the world. Um, it has been going doing its rounds in countries like Colombia and Australia. But there isn't much information about it and this is the Tonland. On our streets I've been seeing a lot of the Armand heavy duty pickup trucks. Um, not pickup but heavy duty trucks. And this one now is their pickup version which is called the Tonland. It started production in November 2011. So it's fairly young to this market. Um, the exterior is uh, it's a nice shape. Uh, nothing too distinguishable except for the V grill at the front that also has the emblem for Tonlan um, in it in the middle of the bonnet and there's a slight protrusion of the bumper but it integrates itself very well into the headline and also into the body of the vehicle when you enter the vehicle there are there's a mixture of what I should say now um, chrome and uh, carbon fiber accents the great thing with pickups like these or any vehicle that's very new to the market is that they're always going to give you a lot of bang for the buck no I wasn't giving up necessarily a booklet but I presume that this is the high-end model because on the interior there is leather seats the finish is chrome and carbon fiber accents all around so you do get a feeling of a uh, higher grade than the average pickup which is very nice because the price tag is much lower than most pickups know on the market right um, this model comes with a touch screen and it's, it has been upgraded from the first model and the research that I've been doing because that one never had any touch screen it also has a reverse camera and these are just standard features especially for our market in Jamaica below that you have the climate sensors and everything is basically touch you know what I mean um, so it's easy to maneuver the writing is in Chinese even though you can understand the basic functions so I was able to pair my Bluetooth with no challenge whatsoever or anything like that and that was easy sometimes I don't I don't know if it's my phone as well right but sometimes the phone calls will drop and then they'll pick up back again but I will test it with another phone just to make certain of that Beside the gear lever, um, you have your control for off-road, so there's also normal you turn it to switch from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive on support. And then to the other side of the gear lever, you have eco mode, you have sport mode, and then you have your uh, monitoring mode, right? It's no more than this, but for us it's monitoring. It's very nice in terms of economy-wise, I was able to just drive this on half tank and it can get you anywhere. It's a 2.8 liter coming engine now. From my from my understanding, the photon basically outsources a lot of the parts and everything. So the center console will be coming from somebody else and the engine comes from a company called Coming. The 2.8 liter turbo engine produces 120 kilowatt of power and 360 newton meter of torque. Now, what does that mean? That means that when you press the pedal, you do get a lot of responsiveness in it. Um, the engine is very long. It sounds like a traditional diesel vehicle engine. A lot of the newer pickups and the newer vehicles now, especially like in Mercedes, they find a way how to isolate that loud noise coming from the engine. But with this one, I mean, I'm accustomed to a lot of traditional pickups, so it's not a big issue for me. What is most important is that is that it does the job that it's supposed to do right and um, so far the torque feels very good it feels like it can carry a full um, load in the bed without struggling and that's something that I like the spaciousness in the room it's okay you can see four people comfortably and it's a twin cab so you're expecting to get that um, out of it the ride is a bit firm um, and which is to be expected to be fair to pickups because you're going to be loading it with humans and loading it with things like gravel and cement and so forth like that and that's really where pickups are supposed to shine so from that perspective um you know it's it's, it's kind of a little bit on the firm side 
Although I feel dry during the time, I feel nice with it. The, the, it's very spacious in here and the window wells are huge, so a lot of light is coming in. So for a first time experience of the vehicle, I mean, I really do like it. Speakers are a little bit lower than what I would want them to be, but that's no big gripe. A big standout for this vehicle is that it has very little body roll. Now that for me is something very outstanding because most pickups, even the ones that have advanced technology, they have body roll when you're going around corners at high speed. If I was able to drive this vehicle around a corner at a moderate enough speed and there was absolutely no body roll, so I have to give the brand credit where credit is due because that is something that is very hard to obtain for any pickup. 